Nico Dessou. Hey, what's up? This is Nico. So today's video is going to be a bit different. I'll be more focused on creating a guide than just, you know, pure meme material. And that's not to say that there won't be any memes. There'll just also be a lot of information. Also, if you like my content, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Um, this way you can know whenever I upload. Anyways, on to the video. Today's video will be a guide on how to manufacture a random in Arknights, mainly covering should you do it, how efficient it is, and why you should even make it. Now, if you don't want to watch until the end of the video, I'll just tell you this right now. I do don't not try this. recommend manufacturing a random in your base, except in very specific scenarios. Now, before we get into the specifics, let's get to know our currencies first. This is LMD. You need it for basically everything. This is Originite, the premium currency in Arknights. This is a taco. Yeah. This is a random, and you need this to make gacha pools, and this will be the focus of this video. So at the moment, there are four reliable ways to get a random. The first is through weekly annihilation clears. Um, there's a limit of 1700 per week. The second is through manufacturing it in your base. The third is through daily and weekly missions. There is a 1200 per week uh, limitation on this. And the fourth is through exchanging Originite Prime for it at a 1 to 180 ratio. You can also technically receive a random as a reward from events and maintenance, but those are not consistent enough for us to use as a predictor, so we can't exactly plan around this. Now, I'll be mainly focusing on the efficiency of manufacturing a random. The whole process of a random manufacturing involves converting raw materials into shards and shards into a random. These processes require level 3 factories and trading stations, so make sure you have them before you try this. Now, we'll be considering manufacturing efficiency by comparing the sanity costs of the other ways to get a random. The first and most basic source is daily and weekly missions. You get 1200 every week from just playing the game on a daily basis, and there is basically zero sanity that you're specifically using to farm this. Now, the efficiency for this method works out to 1200 divided by zero, which is undefined, or infinite or random for sanity spent. Um, this is obviously false and shows why you should never divide by zero. Now, our second source is weekly annihilation runs. Every week, provided you finish Annihilation 3, you can spend 125 sanity to get 1700 a random from the game mode. Or, more realistically, you'll be spending 133 sanity if you're unable to reliably clear Annihilation 3. So this works out to about a 12.78 a random per sanity ratio, which is very good value, but is only limited to 1700 per week. Next, let's calculate the sanity efficiency for directly trading Originite for a random. Now, I'll be assuming a 125 sanity cap, which is reached around level 60. Every Originite can be traded for either 125 sanity or 180 a random. So, we'll be directly dividing that and getting an efficiency of about 1.44 a random per sanity ratio. That's quite a bit worse than the efficiency from Annihilation, but do keep in mind that this isn't limited on a weekly basis. You can trade as much as you want. Now let's consider the sanity efficiency of manufacturing a random in your base. There are two recipes for manufacturing shards. Um, one requires two rocks and 1600 LMD for one shard, and the other one requires one device and 1000 LMD for one shard. Since rock farming is more efficient, We'll be using that recipe. The sanity value of rocks is roughly 4.8 sanity per rock, taken from this chart for material farming. The sanity value for LMD can be calculated from CE5. The stage awards 7500 LMD for 30 sanity spent, which works out to about 250 LMD per sanity. Now, every originium shard produced requires 1600 LMD and two rocks, which, uh... which works out to 16 sanity per shard. Shards are then traded into a random at a rate of 10 a random per shard, which means that sanity the efficiency for producing a random is... Uh, hold up a second. Okay, okay, got the answer. 
and the efficiency for producing a random is 0.625 a random per sanity. What this means is that you get 0.625 a random for every sanity you spend farming for it. Oh my god! That's very bad, and that is the reason why mostly everyone recommends against farming for a random. You also need to consider that while manufacturing a random, you're not only spending your sanity to farm for the resources, you're also using your facilities for manufacturing a random when they could be making free LMD and experience cards instead. So why would you ever consider manufacturing a random? And honestly, you should. Don't try this! However, currently global server is in a, in a very accelerated state. We are receiving new banners very rapidly, um, roughly a new banner every week. Uh, guaranteed 5 stars and banners require 10 pools or 6,000 arundum. And we've already established that there is a hard limit of 2,900 arundum that can be earned from annihilation and missions every week, which is less than even half of the required 6,000. So even if you get the monthly card, the best value purchase in the shop, you only boost your weekly arundum income to 4,300. So unless you're very lucky with your gacha pools, which I'm not, it's inevitable that you will need to spend real money if you want to keep up with the accelerated banners. However, a random manufacturing can somewhat mitigate this need. You receive 1,680 sanity per week from natural regeneration, and if you spend it all towards farming a random, you can farm about 1,000 a random per week. Now, it's not a lot, but it does add up, and it's especially important if you physically cannot spend money on this game and you want to get the most value out of the banners that you pull from. Now, if you take away anything from this video, I want to reiterate that manufacturing a random in your base is not efficient at all. Don't try this! This comparison of sanity efficiency really says it all. If you decide on farming a random, do keep in mind that you hinder the growth of your other operators which can lead to a really hard time when you go for the more challenging events that are coming out. Anyways, this has been Nico, and I hope you have a good day.